is the original first section of our 3,800 feet of boardwalk that was built in 1994. And that was through uh, a grant from CDC, uh, the Rotary Foundation funded part of it, and the park funded part of it. And then the Rotary Club took on the project of assembling the panels up in the shop mm -hmm. one winter that would have been the winter of 1993, uh, presumably, because it went down in summer 94, so it was 20 years old. Held up very well, but it was starting to get pretty ragged and the fasteners had pulled through and they'd been refastened and they were warped and cracked and checked and so it was time. But And look at this wonderful new 520 feet of boardwalk. We're especially thankful to the Home Depot team and the Home Depot Foundation and all the dedicated community volunteers that were here this morning. and. Uh, Job well done. Home Depot has a nonprofit division called the Team Depot Foundation, and they fund grants for veterans projects. So Jim and I got together and we wrote this grant to replace the boardwalk since they host the D-Day event every, mm -hmm. every year. That way, that event would continue to be accessible for people. So you donate materials? We wrote a grant that paid for all the materials on the boardwalk. For this project, we were given a $6,300 grant which paid for all of the lumber and fasteners needed to replace this 520 foot section. Okay, did you have people here too? We did. We, um, there's a few of us here now and we had some folks this morning. Okay. And how often do you do projects like this? Um, our, in our district, we probably do about a dozen a year and we're hoping to increase the number that we do locally. This is the first one that we've done in a while at, through our store and we're hoping to get a few more. So what, give me a little idea of what kind of criteria you use they have a preference for veterans projects so a lot of the projects that team Debuff funds are improvements to single-family homes um, where you might have a disabled veteran oh okay those are the most common ones this is kind of a um a unique project for what they offer how long have you been working on getting this done about a year jim and i have been working on this for about a year we had uh, 602 12 foot two by sixes that had to be halved into the six footers for the width of the boardwalk. So we kind of did a calculation on that. Uh, at a rate of 60 per hour, one per minute, it would have taken 10 hours to cut all the two by sixes. So the park crew got an early start on that on Monday and Tuesday, etc. So the two by sixes were all cut to length by the time we started this morning. And then each boardwalk section, it consists of three four by four stringers and then there's 25 two by six by six foot screwed to the top and on the bottom there's three sections of two by six for the bottom so they don't sink into the ground so did it go smoothly or? exceptionally exceptionally uh pretty much uh, the panels were all complete by 10 30 11 o'clock this morning and then it's just a matter of uh, removing the old panels uh, which were donated to the Port Authority for repurposing over there uh, Denver and uh, Joe Raisin they're going to add on to the end of our boardwalk so it continues over so they're going to repurpose the old sections by renovating them with new planks and uh, so leave something new over in the sandbar area for folks enjoy also and uh, it went exceptionally well I think okay. we thought we'd be here till 8 o'clock tonight and probably not get them all installed until tomorrow and the next day and the next day so it's not even 2 in the afternoon exactly it must be the weather <laughs> it, it, it was a significant part of it <laughs> no humidity and but you know the city manager was here Council president was here this morning, a couple other council people, uh, a lot of Rotarians, Home Depot folks, so we had a good turnout. Okay. Plus or minus 30 volunteers. Saturday, Saturday, all this lumber arrived, okay? And we know we knew that we had to get this all cut and in place. 
for the 24th. That, that was our this deadline. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we worked Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and finally this on Tuesday. Wednesday was the final day. Yeah. And we're going to have everything in place on this last day. I came down about 9.30. Um, they had coffee and donuts for us, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, we took a little break and had lunch, and now we're still back at it, so. So what, what basically are you doing here? Um, well, first when I got here, I was gonna do the drill, but the batteries were a little low. So I'm a official rake person. So what I do is I just smooth it out, and then they put the boards down, so. It's pretty much my duties today. <laughs> Yeah. On a blanket with my baby